Hello, hello. Welcome to Core Crazy, our 15-minute ab class. I hope you're ready to work it out and crunch it out with me. This class is great for just that quick burst of energy. And um, as far as like our fitness journeys, all movements come from the core and we have like different layers of our core like our innermost core and then like a couple more layers that extend out from there so no matter what your style of training is everybody could use a little extra um, core work I guess is what I'm trying to say so um, with that being said if you're new to working out or a workout program Always make sure you consult with your uh, physician and just get permission and clearance if you've got any health issues or concerns before actively joining us. One thing that I'm really excited about is um, introducing some new equipment today, which we've kind of been slowly weaving in over the last couple weeks here. So these here are called gliders. There's all kinds of uh, neat things you can do with them. They uh, tend to just kind of increase resistance and recruit more stabilizing muscles. Hey, Patricia. Yes. Awesome. Good to see you on here. So, um, if you don't have these, that's okay because you can still perform the exercise without them. Also, as far as like a supplement, you could use like towels on like a wood floor. It probably wouldn't work on carpet because you do need to be able to slide. You could also do um, paper plates. That's one that people use a lot as well. So we're gonna go ahead and get started today. I've also got a medicine ball handy too that we'll be using in one exercise. Other than that, no other equipment. Woohoo! All right, Amy. <laughs> so, um, go ahead and just meet me standing up. We're gonna do our warm up from there. All righty. So we are going to do our warm up from standing. I'm gonna go ahead and just go behind our space here. So because this is a short class, our warm-up is going to be a little bit shorter. Each movement we're going to do for 30 seconds. We've got three things for our warm-up. So let's see. Nice and easy. I think this movement is super underrated. We're just going to simply start by stretching side to side. Stretching and also starting to engage and wake up those obliques. Yep, just nice. Reach side to side. I'm actually like super sore from total body strength yesterday. So this feels really nice. Got about five more seconds. Last one. All right, keep your same stance. You're just going to bring your arms out. We're just going to do a little twisting. So find that little stabilization in the middle here. So nice, easy, controlled twist. Ten more seconds and then we'll switch gears. So also make sure you're breathing in and out. Last twist. Okay, standing crunch. We're gonna step side to side. So you're gonna reach up, pull down, just side to side, just like that. This is like a standing crunch to just get things activating. Alternatively, you could always just do a standing march and skip the arms and pop it down. So we're gonna use our format of four exercises in our circuit, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off, and we will repeat it one time. So no need to monitor time. Go ahead and finish out that warm up. No need to monitor time. That's what I'm here for. I'll cue you with all of the time. Remember when we do things for time interval, you have that option to rest during the remainder of the time interval if you're still building up your stamina. So do make sure to listen to your body. Make sure that you're staying hydrated. All right, let's get into that first one. So we're actually gonna stay standing. We're gonna come into a squat on the lower half here. You can always skip the squat if you're feeling sore or if it's too much, but you're gonna take the hands behind the head and we're just gonna do little side crunches here. So that little oblique squeeze, keep those elbows and shoulders back. Think of stacking shoulders 
over hips. You can even have a wall behind your back. Again, you can just stand straight up as well. Keep it strong. So squeeze up and in through those lower abs. We want to think of being actively engaged. Getting closer here, 10 more seconds. Last one. All right, as we transition throughout those 15 seconds, we're gonna come down on the mat and just do some good old fashioned bicycle crunches. So getting ready to come around to your spine. We've got hands behind the head again. And we're just gonna extend one opposite leg, opposite elbow to opposite knee. The modification here would just be to do little cross crunches like so. And you can always mix it up. Maybe you feel like you can make it through the time interval if you do mix it up. So get creative to do what works for your workout. Squeeze, really reaching across that middle line of the body. We've got 10 seconds to go. For five, four, three, two, one. Got that 15 second transition here. So this is the one that we're gonna incorporate the gliders on here. We're gonna do mountain climbers with them. So remember, you can always skip the gliders and just do traditional mountain climbers. You could even do the slow variation. So I'm just gonna bring my gliders here behind me. I'm gonna set my arms up here on the mat. So come up into plank pose. If you're using something for your gliders, like a towel or something, you can put your feet on those. You're just gonna slide back and forth. See, it just adds a little resistance. If you're not using them, you're just gonna simply lift the knees like so, okay? So it is more challenging to use those gliders, but it's recruiting so many more muscles and adding that resistance without adding any more weight. Nice and easy. Down to 10 seconds. We got this. We're going for three, two, one. Awesome. So coming back around to our spines. This is our fourth exercise in our circuit. We're gonna do a little compound movement here. So combining just a nice simple reverse crunch with a little chest press up. So when you do your chest press with your weight, I just want you to think of that strength coming from your core, like actively engaging and think of it, thinking of it as you press up. The option is to also skip that and just reverse crunch. So let's come around to our spines, knees bent, feet flat. You'll just have your ball or prop handy by your chest. And let's go. So reverse crunching, we're just lifting those knees into our chest. Keep your back flat, feet go flat here, press up. So really press your back into the floor. We don't want any space or any arch in the back here. And we'll really emphasize that pressing of the back when we push the ball up. Kind of feeling those opposing forces of pressing the back in as the ball presses up. 15 seconds. Make sure you're breathing. Last one. All right. We are gonna go right back to the beginning of our circuit. So remember, we're coming back up to standing. So either take your squat or just stand straight up. Hands behind the head. And work in those side abs. Little stabilization in the middle. Breathing in and out. So 
So we're taking more of like that sumo squat stance. The, the feet are like wider than the shoulders and things are more turned out. We're more than halfway there. Keep strong. Think of even squeezing up and in through those lower abs. 10 seconds. Almost there. Last one. All right, you guys rock. Let's go ahead and bring it on down. So remember we're going back to the bicycle crunch or just the alternating elbow to knee crunch. So rolling on down. Let's go ahead and start. Crossing the middle line of the body. You're only gonna extend your leg as low as you can keep your back flat. So even if that means your leg kind of goes higher up, if you're able to keep your back flat, that's what counts. Let the core strengthen in its own time. Take it at a pace that works for you. 15 seconds to go. 10 seconds. Almost there. Take two more and rest. We're starting to transition back to our mountain climber variations. If mountain climbers are too intense, you could also just uh, practice your plank hold too. So remember, either gliders, place towels, or just do traditional mountain climbers without that added prop. So restarting time clock, start to set yourself up in your variation of plank. Let's begin. And as we come into this one, I'll go ahead and also kind of shift to the side so that you can see that viewpoint as well here. You can see that it's like I'm on the toes and balls of my feet. Halfway there. Spreading those fingertips nice and wide helps with wrist discomfort. 15 seconds. Almost there. I don't know about you, but my core's on fire. Three, two, one. All right, guys, we are almost through the end. Get back to our clock, remembering that it's reverse crunch to a little press up using a weighted item or you're gonna skip that and just reverse crunch it out. So we're breathing, laying on back, bent knees, feet are flat. Go ahead and start. So back is pressed flat to the floor. Lift those knees. Push your back into the floor as you press the ball up. Push. Make that mind-muscle connection. Thinking about the core, as long as it's not too much to think about. We just wanna also train our brain where those muscles are actively engaging. Last one. All right, great job. We are ready for our cool down. We are gonna make it nice and easy here by just staying on the floor. So just stay on your mat, go ahead and lie on back and do a full body length and stretch. So those legs are gonna go long. You're gonna inhale, stretch those arms up over the head. So just take time to take about two to three breaths here. Breathe some length back into the torso. And let's go ahead and wrap one knee in towards the heart. So starting to let the belly soften more and more. Give the core permission to disengage. You've been working hard. 
Go ahead and draw right knee in to meet the left. Take a couple rocks from right to left. And come back to the middle. Keep your right knee in. Let your left leg go long. Just breathe it out. Let's take left knee into the right, or left knee into meet the right. Send those feet flat to the mat. Go ahead and create a little bit of space. Let's just take some windshield wiper knees here. We did do some squatting and kind of lifting up of our knees. So just kind of stretching that tissue surrounding the knees, surrounding the hips. Just a nice fluid controlled motion from right to left. Go for just like two more and that will be the end of our core crazy for today I hope that you enjoyed that and I'm excited if you like and don't have a, an obligation right after this here in 15 minutes we'll be going live again for relax and restore it's gonna be a great follow-up to our abdominal work as we shift gears and just focus on breathing stretching, just really feeling in our bodies and practicing just a little bit of self-care, taking that pause so that we can go back out into the day to feel nice and refreshed and take on whatever else we need to, all right? So I'll see you soon, hopefully. Have a good one.